Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today I can bring you a new fantastic vision from the Lord. This morning the Lord showed me two separate images of fantastic things that He will bring forth right now. It all started with me being on a train. And the train was called the train of destiny. And in this train there were many people. And when I was going through the train carriages to, to look for a seat, I was asking the people, where do we go? And when will we be there? And nobody could answer me. So nobody knew either the destination, nor do they knew the day or the hour. Then I found my seat, and when I seated on the left side of the carriage, in front of me was a woman, and I could not neither see her face nor any details, because she was lying on the stomach and on the face on that on that uh, seat of that in that carriage. If you know how trains are built, you know that there are maybe two or three seats next to one another. So she was lying face down on the stomach there, so I could not see her. But I knew immediately that this will be my future partner for the harvest work. But I was not allowed to see her face or any details. So when I was sitting there on the left side of that train, and I was waiting for things to happen, then suddenly Beautiful ladies were walking through the carriages and were collecting from each and every one an ID. I knew it was an ID because there were pictures there on it. So they went through and I knew these beautiful ladies were angels. So the angels were going through the carriages and collecting the IDs. And when they had finished their work, then in the middle of the carriage, in the door to the next carriage, at the beginning of it, a person appeared, and I knew immediately, this is Jesus. Jesus had come to the train, and he, hold, he was holding all the, all the IDs, and he was going through the IDs one by one. And when he found one that he wanted to pick, he took it out from the hip, and he gave it to a person that was sitting on a table on the left side, the front of the left side. So he put all the selected IDs on that table, and there was a man sitting on that table. He had a book. Whenever he received a new ID from Jesus, he recorded down the details in that book. When that has finished, I immediately knew that I have to change side now. So I was on the left side in the carriage, and I changed over to the right side. And when I was on the right side of the carriage, I knew this is a site for the remnant. This is a site for very few people who will sit on the right side. This is a site for the harvesting bride. And then the scenery changed. And I was not any longer in the train. But now I saw something completely different. I saw in front of me a timeline in full color. A timeline that some of the ministries are using when they make videos on YouTube that explains the past, the present and the future. But this was a timeline for the future. And I saw a person who were explaining the timeline, a man. And I saw a huge auditorium with many people inside there, many people. And I was sitting on the left side of this auditorium also in that group. And we were listening to that man explaining the timeline. And there was one more table within that room. And on that table was sitting a lady. And that lady was pure light, pure white, sitting there. She was neither doing anything nor saying anything. Her, her face was just straight ahead, doing nothing. 
and then the man explained the timeline. So when we looked at the timeline, first we saw that the timeline started with a man appearing. And the man appeared, and then the next step on the timeline was people getting transformed. So they walked through like through a door, and then they came out completely changed. And then the next step on the timeline was an event. An event that I could not make out clearly, most likely the escape of the innocent, but I just an event that will take place. And then in the timeline it showed forth that a man was then walking the earth for 40 days and wonders and miracles were seen. And so the man explained how this happened from the timeline and that then this man was walking the earth for 40 days and did all the miracles and then he came to one conclusion and he said, this man is the Antichrist. And the whole auditorium said, yes, yes, this is the Antichrist. All the people in the world are getting deceived. So many are getting deceived. This is the Antichrist. He's walking the earth. Look what he is doing. There are wonders and miracles. They're all fake. This is a fake man. And they got excited and excited and excited. And in that moment, I stood up. And I said, you are all mistaken. This man is not the Antichrist. This man is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has come for the 40 days on earth. And when I say this, that lady in white changed her head and turned towards me. And when she looked at me, I immediately feel the power of the kingdom of heaven strengthen me in my opinion. And I was stronger and stronger, repeating it over and over again. This is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is not the Antichrist. You are all mistaken. And then all hell broke loose. The whole auditorium, the man who explained the timeline, everybody turned against me. And they became more and more agitated and more and more ready to use violence. And I was standing there, strengthened by this white lady, strengthened by what I believe is the Holy Spirit. And I was telling them, this is Jesus walking the earth for 40 days. And they were shouting at me and saying blasphemy and telling me bad words and mocked and scoffed me all over the place. But I was standing there, never going away from the truth. And when they started to become more and more agitated, I just turned away from them. And I was looking at the timeline. I was trying to, to figure out the event, the second event after the transformation. And then I was looking at the end of the timeline to catch a glimpse of what's continuing to happen. Because now the, the explanation of this man had of, co of course stopped when I said this is Jesus Christ. And so I was trying to see what the end of this 40 days will be and what happened thereafter. So also I could see that there was the end of the timeline. Everything after this, what I have said and has got brought, I could not see. I could not make it out. And then the vision was taken away from me. And I woke up. Brothers and sisters, what a fantastic vision from the Lord. The Lord is telling you it's the time now. He's telling us that he has left his place now. He's coming down onto the earth. He will select his harvesting bride now. Out of most likely all the people who are on that train of destiny. Because we know that the children will go to the third heaven. We also know that a few of the brides will go with them. And some of the brides will be harvesting brides. And the church will go through the seal tribulation until the sixth seal where they will go into the rapture, into paradise. So that is a train of destiny. But then the timeline now shows us that Jesus truly will walk for 40 days here on earth. And that all the world will say he is the Antichrist. Oh, I forgot one thing. They, then when, when this crowd became agitated and, and was saying, this is the Antichrist, this is the Antichrist, then not only, I thought this crowd were only Christians, but it was not. Then also Muslim came in and they said, yes, it's true. Look, in our book is written that the man who walks for 40 days the earth is called the Antichrist. In our terms is called the Dajjal. They also came in. So not only Christians came against Jesus, also the Muslim came against it. Others, the whole world started to step out against Jesus. 
So we know that scripture can never be broken. And we know that all the patterns will be fulfilled, brothers and sisters. That is at least the things that we have learned here at Triple Chris. So if we know that, the, the, that God himself, Jesus himself, has sent out the apostles when he was here on earth for his first coming, and he told them, it will start in Jerusalem, then to Samaria, and then to the rest of the world. Then I always said, how is that possible? Because now the harvesting bride is distributed throughout the whole world. Will we now then all be taken to Jerusalem to start there? But now I think the Lord has shown us the truth. Jesus himself will walk the 40 days in Jerusalem. He will be in Jerusalem and when he has finished there, he will go to Samaria, what is close by, and he will fulfill this, this scripture and the pattern there. And then he will come to us through the rest of the world. And then we will be transformed, elevated into our positions and our ministries will start. And then sudden destruction will come. The Lord has brought forth a great revelation for you again. A new vision to make an understanding that the time has come, brothers and sisters. The time has come. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to become the harvesting bride? Are you ready to to step forward and speak the truth against all the opposition? We know persecution is coming. The Lord is telling us this. When Jesus will walk the earth, stand with Jesus. Do not fall for the lies and deception of the churches of the world and of other religion, telling you that this is the Antichrist. And we see it already beginning. Some of the rabbis in Ju Jerusalem have already said that Jesus is already in contact with them. And what is the, the answer from Christianity? They say, oh, if they are in contact with him, then he must be the Antichrist. So it's already forming that they will say the Antichrist will walk the earth for 40 days. When it's in reality, it's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and they will reject him again. Do not be part of that group that will miss the day of visitation. Do not be part of that group that will not be in the train of destiny, that will not be transported in the glory train. Be part of that group that, be, that belongs to the kingdom, that says we are the kingdom. If you do not understand what I mean by we are the kingdom, then please watch the live stream we had on Tuesday evening. I link it in the first pin comment for you. Get an understanding that we are not the church. We never were about religion. We never are about about uh, about the, the, what they claim about Sunday worship or anything like this. What we are about is we are the kingdom. We came from the kingdom, we'll return to the kingdom. Watch that live stream. Brothers and sisters, this new vision from the Lord of this, from this morning tells us that we are more than close. He is now on the way already, very soon. He will be here, select the bride, and will then walk the earth for 40 days. And most likely, he will walk the 40 days in Jerusalem and Samaria, in Israel. And that's the reason why also the world will then say he's the Antichrist, because they're all indoctrinated that the Jews will accept the Antichrist only, and that is the false Messiah that they will accept. But in reality, it's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So be warned. Be warned with that vision also. Do not fall for the trap of the crowds. Do not follow the crowds. Do not say this is Antichrist, and then you will miss your day of visitation. But the person you will see walking in Jerusalem and Samaria for 40 days is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and this will happen very soon. May God bless you and your family. May God bless you in your understanding. May God bring in you forth the truth, the truth of the kingdom. May you understand that you came from paradise and you will go to paradise. I pray that you will call yourself a prince or princess of the kingdom and that you walk and stand with us until the end. Become a harvesting bride. Join us, be part of it. Support Triple Grace if you can. Help us to bring forth this wonderful, perfect messages, revelation and visions to the Lord. I will prepare a transcript of it and I will try to get it also on 444 Prophecy News site so that many more people will see it. The time has come. 
Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is on the way. Prepare yourself, make yourself ready. Close yourself in the wonderful wedding dress to meet your bridegroom. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.